Hello everyone, this is a short video on the changes to Augie with uh, this release version. A new library has been implemented to make things easier on those who are scripting. Um, the format of the scripts folder has changed, so I do advise that you delete your entire scripts folder, back up any uh, scripts that you might have made, and the new script folder will go in. Uh, I'll just show you what the folder looks like. It's changed a little bit in that any uh, folder that's in the scripts folder becomes a type. So, for example, this G-Code library is where you would put scripts that relate to G-Code. And if we look inside, you can see there are our previous libraries, the G-Code library and three different spindle libraries. Um, any folder added here becomes automatically a system type. And then inside that type can go multiple folders of scripts. And they operate on the same rules as before. Inside any folder is a script of the same name. You don't need to worry about creating these types of folders and so on. You can do it all from within the library. The only reason I mention this is that if you previously had scripts uh, in this folder, you're going to want to delete them all so you don't mess up your library structure. Upon loading Augie, if you haven't used it before, your scripts are turned off. This is because certain safeties are now in the system. Here we can see I've got a small G-code script file loaded, uh, which just does this test pattern on the screen. But it starts off with an M3. And um, if I try to run an M3 after first uh, installing Augie, it should run fine because it has no idea um, what an M3 is. It won't try to call any scripts and nothing will fail and it'll simply run the file. However, in your log will be error messages telling you that all scripts are currently disabled. Um, if you look inside the log, uh, you'll see all scripts turned off in library. Uh, this is the default way that you'll receive Augie, so if you wish to use scripts, uh, you'll have to turn them on. Now the Live button is right on top of script, and it now features a tree structure with checkboxes. When you check a box, it turns on uh, the scripts or turns off the scripts for the root. For all the other folders, if you double click on a folder type, such as G-Code libraries, you can see here I've got the G-Code library turned off or turned on and one of the spindle libraries. In this case I've decided to turn on only the relay only spindle. Once you turn things on, um, you can hit the done button and the system will automatically reconfigure and now all scripts are properly working. Now, um, when you first initially turn on your scripts library by checking it on and hit the done button, uh, you'll, you'll find that your spindle libraries and so on are not turned on yet. So you, let's say you have G-Code library turned on, for example. If you try to run a file that has an M3 in it, it will give you an error and it will refuse to run. This is because we've turned on our G-Code library. It now knows what an M3 is and will try to turn on a spindle and it won't find any spindle to turn on because you haven't turned on a library. The messages for that are not very good. If you look at the end of the log, you can see what we got here. It says script spindle state called, telling you that the script name set spindle state was called, but it had an error inside, attempt to call a non-function type. Now these are compiled scripts. All the scripts within Augie are compiled, uh, but I don't allow you as the user to see that. They're all kept in English and in source code, uh, but during runtime they're compiled, so it has no way to tell you what's wrong with that script. But Augie will automatically switch to a full debug mode if you turn on the scripter. So if you want to see what caused an error in reality, open up the scripter and hit the power up button, and then try to repeat the process that you did. I'll rewind the file and I'll hit run. And when I do, you can see that it automatically opens up the script that failed. In this, in this uh, instance, if we look at the library name up here, it's the G-Code library. So it saw the M3, and it tried to call the set spindle state script, and it got an error on this line, spindle on. And down here below in the text, you can see it says, script set spindle state called attempt to call non-function type spindle on. This is because you don't have a routine called spindle on because we've not yet turned on a library that has a spindle. So you can get out of all that simply by hitting the X button and sending your scripter away. You're now back to compiled scripts. And if we take a look at our library under G-Code, uh, you'll see I had no spindle libraries turned on. So I'm going to turn on a relay library, hit done, and now when I try to run, the file runs fine.
Also, whenever you use the scripter, uh, you will have to regen your drawing because if you don't regen your drawing, uh, you won't be able to see it. The drawing disappears on each resizing of the screen. Now inside the library, you're still free to uh, click into a library type and by clicking on any library, uh, you will see descriptions of the functions within the library, the prototype, a description of how to use that particular function and so on. Uh, the libraries are starting to build with, uh, with some complexity. We're adding as much I.O. as we're going to need and it won't be long before we start to turn on uh, actual la uh, laser usage. So. That's all this video was on to show you how to use the library to watch for uh, getting errors to get yourself running with a spindle and um, that's it. You should be fine. Have fun.